What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5.0 and today we are going to make a simple main menu really really quick, literally over just like 5 minutes or 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we are going to do is make a new level. So I'm just going to go into file, new level and basically I'm just going to choose a basic one okay, to at least have like some lights etc. And um, the next thing that we are going to do is go ahead and save it and it's gonna go like main main menu there we go so now let's go ahead and go into a folder that you like I already have one called UI with all the things but you know anyway so let's just right click and go into user interface and then go into widget blueprint then in common select user widget and just gonna name it main menu and let's go ahead and open it up. So in here we can basically design all the buttons, the uh, all the text and uh, images that we are gonna have. So first of all, the first thing that we need is a canvas. So go ahead, just uh, find a canvas and just drag it into the hierarchy here, and you will see that there's a canvas appearing. So now let's go ahead and find a button. So there we go, just drag it in here. In the left in the palette, you can find the common, um, you know, things that you would use to create a user interface. So yeah, let's just go ahead and create a button, and I'm just gonna go ahead and place it around here. So this is gonna be the play button. So what I'm gonna do is just drag a text over it, and it will make a child. So it will actually snap. So just drag it into the center here, and then I'm just gonna say here, uh, display. There we go, simple as that. And um gonna change the color. Well, I think it's good like that. You can of course mess it around with the color, opacity, with the font. Uh, you can import your own ones, etc. Uh, so let's go ahead and if you go to the hierarchy, because I have my text as a child, where first of all I'm gonna name it, rename this into button play. So it's a bit more, uh, you know, organized, and then you're just gonna duplicate it, and this is gonna be the button options. And today we are not gonna make the fully um, options menu. If you want to see a tutorial on how to make an options menu, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments. But anyway, so, and then let's duplicate this, and then drag it into here, and this time it's gonna be the text named exit there we go so right now we have all the ui set up in order to make the functions so basically go ahead and click one of the buttons in my case i'm going to do the play button first then you scroll down until you see events and in my case i'm going to do unclicked so i'm just gonna tap the plus here and then it's gonna take uh, take us into the graph to the events graph of the uh, main menu widget so this is the unclicked event for the button play so what I'm going to do is go ahead and say open level by name and uh, the level by name that I want to choose third person map. I'm going to go ahead and copy it and paste it in here. There you go. Third person map. I uh, wouldn't have to touch any of the extra value. So let's just leave it like that. And then we are going to go and compound save and then go back into here up here into the designer. Click that and we go back to the menu and I'm just going to go into the exit click it go down and then in the events on clicked just click the add button just drag this in here and, and say quit game like that you don't have to touch anything of this so just leave it like that in default and if right now I go into the main menu we will still have to do one thing we are gonna go into the level blueprint okay because in here we are not going to have a, a player, so we're going to use the level blueprint of the main menu. We're going to go ahead and delete the event tick, and we are only going to use the uh, begin play. And just drag it and say create a widget. Okay, in here we're going to choose in the class the widget that we have created. In my case it's the uh, WP main menu. Okay, and then owning player, we're going to drag this and it's going to be get player controller okay even though there's really not a player but anyway and then the return value just drag sorry 
just uh, drag this one and then say add to viewport there we go and we'll create a, uh, a widget and uh, add it to our screen so there we go this compound save and then if I press play you will see instantly that um, well there's a character that spawned because of the game mode but anyway uh, here you can see that the options menu has displayed and if I press play you can see that it loaded the scene of the third person map also if I go ahead and press play and then press exit it will actually uh, stop uh, playing so that's pretty much it I mean you can do a lot of things with it I mean we can uh, do one really cool thing so let's go back into the designer and I'm gonna show you something really cool it's uh, blur and we can actually add like blur into the uh, background of the screen so let me just go ahead and do this I right, just fill it up come here and then blue strength I'm just gonna put like five and now it's on top so what you have to do is just, just gonna, in the hierarchy just place it on top on here there we go so now that we have placed on top we compound save press play you can see that we have a, a blue on now I think that we are going to do is just quickly go ahead and right click this Go ahead and create a new uh, game mode base and then just go ahead and say uh, main menu and then go ahead and open it and on here in game session dun, 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 in default uh, pound class you say none and then we are gonna sign this one and then if we press play you can see that there's no a player and um, and the thing that I am going to do is go ahead and create a camera. So here, let's go ahead and say camera uh, actor. And then I'm just going to place in. I need to go into details and then in auto activate, it will be for player zero. So now we press play, we have that camera selected. We have the UI. Also, one thing that you're probably noticing is that our buttons are slightly to the left. This is because of the anchors. So if you select any item, you can see that there's some anchors here. Just drag one of the corners and basically you need to have to fit it into the screen. This is how Unreal Engine and also other game engines, uh, you know, control the size of the resolution of the screen for each uh, button or image or whatever. So I just go ahead and just start, you know. So there, hit play. You can see that now it's actually centered. I can press play, I can go to my level, and then also I can go ahead and exit. Now, uh, we need to do the options menu, but like I said, I will leave that for another day. Uh, we will basically create a new widget, and you will basically like, open it. That's it, guys. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, also, leave in the comment section what other Unreal Engine 5 tutorials you want to see. And with all that said, bye-bye.